Welcome to Scrap Codex Book Summaries. Today we present Horus Rising, written by Dan Abnett. It is the first novel in the epic Horus Heresy series set in the Warhammer 40k universe. It tells the story of the fall of Horus Lupercal, primarch of the Luna Wolves Legion and most beloved of the Emperor's sons, as he falls into the worship of chaos. The book is set ten millennia before the era of Warhammer 40k. Horus Rising begins shortly after the Emperor has handed command of the Crusade's forces over to Horus and retired to Holy Terra to build the Astronomicon, a psychic beacon intended to make navigation through the warp easier and safer for humanity, the primary means of interstellar travel. The novel follows the story of Garvia Loken, a member of the Luna Wolf Space Marine Legion, and the events leading up to the galaxy-wide civil war called the Horus Heresy. As the story begins, the Luna Wolves, led by their Primarch Horus, attack the rebellious world of 6319, where the inhabitants have declared their own emperor. The assault is swift and successful, with Horus himself killing the false emperor. Loken's courage and skill during the battle earn him a place in Horus's inner circle, the Mournival. Throughout the novel, Loken interacts with various iterators, advisors, and remembrancers, artist historians, highlighting the rationalist dogma of the 30th millennium, a stark contrast to the superstitious and oppressive imperium of the 40th millennium. After quelling a rebellion on 6319, Loken is forced to kill Sergeant Xavier Jubal, who is possessed by a warp entity named Samus. Horus reveals that the true purpose of the Great Crusade is to starve the warp of humanity's belief, thus eliminating its threat. The Luna Wolves are then dispatched to a world called 14020, or Murder, where they encounter fierce, spider-like aliens. As the battle unfolds, the mysterious Interex Empire arrives, revealing that they had banished the creatures to murder and warned others to stay away. Horus and his legion travel to the Interex worlds in hopes of establishing a peace treaty. However, Tensions rise as some within the Imperium see the Interex's adoption of Xeno culture and technology as a threat. Loken befriends an Interex guard who shares concerns about the taint of chaos within the Imperium. The negotiations ultimately collapse when an anathemy, a powerful artifact weapon, is stolen from the Interex. Despite Horus' efforts to prevent war, the Imperium subdues the Interex and prepares to assimilate them. As the fleet moves on, Horus begins to doubt the purpose of the Crusade, leaving him vulnerable to the influence of chaos corruption. Meanwhile, Erebus, the chaos agent who stole the Anathemy, plots his next move, setting the stage for the devastating events of the Horus Heresy novels that follow. Thanks for listening. Check out the next novel in the series, False Gods. Please like and subscribe for more.